Pop City. I'm Melissa Neiderman. And I'm Renee Medor. And we are here with Miss Fabulous Judith Chapman, a very dear friend of ours who we're so excited that's on the show. She's an actress, a director. She directs many plays, which I was so captivated by your Vivian Lee, which oh I my hope gosh. you talk. Thank I mean, you talk about yes, amazing. Please. I did not not know much about Vivian Lee, and I had to just embark in the whole. I mean, your whole air. You 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 were her, you know, because I went on Thank YouTube you. and I researched yeah. her. I was like, yeah. oh my god, yeah. you portrayed her so well. Tim was blown away. Yeah, Thank when you. Saw oh, you'll, and he's not a big. It, he's not a good, yeah, he's yeah. not a big play person, but he just went off about how wonderful it you was. Were. You know, sometime and. Not really, but sometimes before I go on, I say dying would be easier than having <laughs> to pull this up to do this. Oh, again. well, and you know, you and I, I went over the script with you. Oh, yeah, for, every day. She was she, like, every day. Oh, that's and so funny. we would I meet at the believe. yoga studio, yeah. and she'd, usually she fell asleep because I no. knew the lines. She so did that, verbatim. I don't know how she remembered. Well, how many pages? Hour and a half, 90 pages. 90, 90 pages. 90 pages. But you were also used to that because isn't the soap opera? Soap operas. Yeah, yeah. lots of theater. Lots of, yeah. so lots of yeah. memorizing, lots of pages, mm -hmm. and probably yeah. some of them are even last minute. Oh, God, right. on a soap opera? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've cut all that here. Do, do these. Yeah. And um, that's why one of the reasons why soaps are so challenging for A-listy actors that mm -hmm. they, they call it stunt casting. Right. Famous people will come in, and they can't handle it. Well, right. I'm going to be honest. I mean, he says it all the time, but that's why Rick won't go back. He oh, really? Yeah, he, he can't stand memorizing all the lines. He's right. But, but he mind. remembers the lines of yeah, all of yeah. the songs. Of course. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right fans? Yeah. Right. He and, doesn't always. And for those of you that don't know Judith, which most people do, she's been on several soap operas. I, I mean, she's been on Young oh. and the Restless. <laughs> General it's Hospital, to Days of the ones I haven't, haven't been, been on. on. <laughs> I mean, you slept. All my children with our dear friend um, John Callis. Yes. yes. And I never did. Um, Not with Bobby. No, you weren't on when Bobby was on. Were you? No, no, no. With Tristan, no. were you on GH at the same time? As yeah, I was yes. on GH with Tristan. Oh, I have yeah. pictures of them. Oh my yeah. gosh, Tristan, See right here. He yes. busted me for killing somebody. In fact, That's God right. bless him, Mark Goddard, who is one of my love interests. He just passed you away. Post Mark that. interest. Oh, I just saw. Yeah. I'm so and sorry. Uh, from uh, um, Lost in Space. Oh, yeah. Yes. He, he was he was a gentleman. He and did you have gentleman. another one that just passed? Um, a younger That's super actor. Wasn't he? Oh, Jackie oh, Zeman. Oh, oh no, God. no, yes. Billy yeah. Miller. Billy yes. Wow, so young. God. We've had a lot of. <laughs> Oof. Lot, I just seem to be. And Suzanne it? Summer. We just uh, had Suzanne. Her, yes. Today would have been her birthday. Yes. yes. Today would have been her birthday. Yes. We are filming on Suzanne Oh, Sunday. Lord. Yeah. Just dropping but, like flies. Yeah. Oh, I know. But you are. You've always been so busy. You started way um, when Spaghetti Westerns. When I was 14. Wow. 14 Living years in Spain. Old. And my sister had was, God rest her soul, um, had become a huge star in England and in Spain. A beautiful model. She was the true beauty in the in the family. And uh, her agent called and said, "I said I have an extra part. Why don't you let your little sister do it?" So I asked my mother if I could skip school and go do this spaghetti western. It was a Seven Brides for Seven Brothers story. Oh, uh -huh. And my boyfriend was Italian. He spoke no English. At the time, I spoke no Italian. It all got wow. dubbed in. But the seven days turned into a month and a half. Wow. wow. They just loved you? They, well, it just takes time. Right. But <clears throat> when I finally got back in school, my sister, the, the base commander, the heffy of production from the film, uh -huh. the director, all got together and said, we're suing, this is a long time ago, $100,000 was a lot of money all that time ago, to threatening to sue my parents because they'd done premier planos, close-ups oh, on me, and the military was threatening to court-martial my father oh, wow. for having me out of school. Wow, are they, you kidding? No, it's true, it's a true story. They came up with the solution of enrolling me in a lovely little Spanish Catholic school that I would go to on my days off. Of course, I never saw it, but I got back in school right wow. shortly before midterms, ace the midterms, straight ace, but they said if you ever miss another day, for work or making right, right. a commercial or anything, you will be put back. <gasps> now, and, wait, was that when you had the acting bug at 14 or was it younger? Prior no, to that? I no, I didn't have the acting bug. I was going to be an archaeologist. I oh mean, I gosh, was going I to go that. dig pyramids and all that. And wow. But that's when I got the acting bug. 
Oh, that's great. But they, uh, but so I would get home from school and Patty, my sister, would say, oh, you have to go in Madrid. You're shooting this commercial. You need to take this. You're, this is where you're going. I said, I don't want to. I want to go to the teen club and play with her. If you never, if you don't do this commercial, you will never work in this business again. Patty, I'm 14. Oh, <laughs> so funny. It's true story. Oh, true story. You wow. learned all about it the hard way. So yeah, I made, went, came back, went to Texas, and, or moved to we were stationed in Texas and went to college, got my degree, and amazing. Went to New York. Wow. And the rest is history. And what was your first role um, in the U.S.? I have no idea. You don't remember. I don't know. It was a commercial. <laughs> she but said my, so my, many. My, yeah. my, it's true. You know, and I used to say that these old timers I used to work with on you know whatever I did. And the episodic world, and they said, "Ah, oh, just take the money and run, kid." And I said, "No, I'm a serious thespian. I take this stuff seriously." I haven't a clue. <laughs> I said, "Now I get it." Wow. A commercial. Okay. Wow. Actually, I was the first person, first woman to ever do a commercial for the Wall Street Journal. Wow. This was wow. in a, in a couple of years. And remember Conair? The yes, yes, I do. I did the first. Commercial you, for that, Conair Blue. We gotta look that. So, up. print commercial or uh, television commercial? Television. Wow. And I was like, I've got awful hair. That's why I wear hats. Uh, <laughs> one of the reasons. Um, and that's that, amazing. Yeah. Wow. I saw that you did the love boat. I didn't tell anybody I did a love boat for about three years. I was so a lot of actors. So many actors. Because it was so. Yeah. I was telling somebody at Why the theater yesterday that? because it was just so. I was the only one on the show I didn't recognize. Oh. I mean, <laughs> Leslie Uggams was on it. Oh, I mean, wow. it was wonderful. And I was. Um, who, who were the ones on it? Uh, Dick Martin, Dan oh. Rowan, I was Dick Martin's girlfriend, but his wife came on board and I got off an alcohol. Memphis, Tennessee, you're in Aloha 273. <laughs> have a nice cruise. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Aloha. And Mr. Crichton, I have a telegram for you. Who'd be sending me a telegram? Maybe it's about the divorce agreement. <laughs> How about that? My wife bugged my office. Oh, come on, George. Could have been anybody. No, it was Sarah, all right. <laughs> She's pushing for a larger settlement. Sarah believes you can get blood out of a stone. She already got the blood, now she's looking for the stone. <laughs> that was cool. I yeah. still get a very small residual from Oh, her. do you? Oh, oh my wow. Gosh. I used to love Sadie? that show. Wow. I, I, I finally, I drew, I shouldn't say this. Eric, hold, cover your ears. I drew the line. They wanted me to come in and audition for chips all the time. I said, no, I oh, draw the line. Oh, oh okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was another great show. Oh, you could ride behind Eric on the yes. motorcycle, though. No. no. <laughs> not, not your cup of tea. <laughs> not your cup of tea. Sorry, Eric. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. Oh my gosh. I don't even watch you. Don't worry about it. Well, boy, and you had a very, 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 very hefty career. I yeah. mean, did you ever take a break? I have. You have. I have taken yeah. breaks. When mm -hmm. I finally, when I moved down here and met James and finally got my love life straightened out. Mm -hmm. And, but I continued to work. But at, at one point I said, James, I need to go back to LA. I'm tired. Yeah. And that's when, flash forward many years and when I'm Young and the Restless came along. Well, and you were an entrepreneur when you had your barbecue. I, well, that was his, that was his thing. But you helped him out a lot. Uh, you went to all of the vintage markets. The vintage and markets. And that's why I still have that little boxy sauce. car, the, the ice cream truck. That barbecue, was, it was amazing. Your sauce. I still got it. It's my post-apocalyptic stash. Because <laughs> it's still edible. Every once in a while, I'll open a bottle. I say, it still tastes good. It's great. So, and gluten-free. All organic. And gluten-free, all organic. Yeah. So you still we have it, but you're not selling it anymore. No. 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 I, people said, oh, just get a partner. And I said, really? In the yellow pages? Yeah, it's a lot of work. Say, yeah, say no, give me $100,000, $200,000, let me keep this thing. Yeah. Because we were in Jensen's, we were in Whole Foods, yeah. we right. were in okay. uh, you know, fabulous places. And, um, oh, God, I can't, the owner is Zach Zinn, um, uh, owner of, of um, shortly after James died. Because I would go and mm -hmm. they say, Judith, we need this sauce and this mm -hmm. sauce, and yeah. I'd put it in the back, and I'd go and I'd put it in the in the you know go go cart, the shopping cart, take it in, and I'd sign the invoice, and I say, well, I'm going to go over there and go to the wine tasting since <laughs> <it's> today. <laughs> and finally, the manager came up to me one day and said, Judith, you really know to go around to the loading dock. And I went, uh, uh, you're not allowed. What's, what's a loading oh, dock? What's a loading that's dock? Great. That's hilarious. And then, and then I say, okay, that's fine. Then I'll be back for the wine tasting. 
And finally, Mike Zach, the owner of Jed's the family, and he and I was in the car, and he called. So I pulled over, and he said, "Listen, Judith, you're never going to make any money. We love James. We love you. We love the sauces." Right. And I said, "Mike, are you giving me permission to stop?" Oh, and yeah. he said, "Yeah." Oh, and I went home friend, and boo hooed you know? yeah. and oh, sobbed, and I yeah. said, "James, I can't another. do this. Yeah. I can't do this." So I said, "Yeah, I've still got it." Oh my <laughs> still God, that's great. A few cases. That's wow, really that's why you're such an incredible cook. I mean, you had St. James, the restaurant, he which was, is now Sammy G's. Yeah, I know, and I it's, go there, and people say, yeah. are you all right coming here? I said, yeah. Are you still going? Of course. I haven't been in a while, but I do I do go, and they've really improved from yeah. when they first opened. Mm -hmm. And But I'll say, oh, yeah, we did that, we did that. Mm -hmm. They expanded well, the bar. Well, it looks different. Yeah. I remember yes, when you bar. had it, the bar, were exactly where the bar yeah, was, and now it's, exactly. it's, it's bigger. It's different. It's, fine. Yeah. it's yeah. good. It makes it a little bit different for you, too. Yeah. Another life, another yes. life, yeah, exactly. another incarnation. Exactly. exactly. Well, when we come back after this commercial, we want to talk to you about your amazing trip you just came back mm -hmm. from, and then right after the amazing trip, what you went into. So we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Pop City with our fabulous actress friend, Judith Chapman. Hi, Hi everybody. Yeah. So a quick thing we wanted to say before we get into a mm -hmm. couple other topics. Um, you did movies. One of mm -hmm. the big ones recently was with Will Smith. Mm -hmm. What was Will the name of that one? It was called King Richard. It was a... Roger? Richard. Yes. <laughs> it was about I Venus and it. Serena's dad. And he won the Oscar for it. Yeah, it was but good. it was also yes. goes down in history because that's where he got up on stage and slapped yeah. Chris Rock. Unfortunately. And, um, yeah. I played a very... Don't blink. It was a very small no, little cameo. Nancy Reagan. Playing, she Nancy Reagan. Playing Just Say No, Perfect. Nancy Reagan. <laughs> I love it. All of my friends laugh at that. <laughs> it's called acting, darling. It's yes. called acting. And, going to the other part. Right, and she's staying busy because you are going to be on oh Young and the Restless. Tomorrow. tomorrow. No, Wednesday. I travel tomorrow. I just closed in a play yesterday. I'm doing Y'all today. Tomorrow I travel back to L.A. for yet She's another excited. cameo to go back on uh, Young and the Restless for the Thanksgiving special for the right? big Thanksgiving oh, show and I, before exciting. I came over I was just reading it and it's very funny oh, oh it is it's oh, very funny fine. because it's kind of, because I just got back from this rather magnificent trip to um, Africa tell us about I was that. just yes, on safari let's, let's hear about this and it you know it's just one of those things I went with a fairly new friend who lives in my neighborhood we just met walking dogs are walking our dogs up in the canyon is hi she's pretty much same situation she's got a grown daughter but footloose fancy free uh -huh. and she said I, I said all I just want to travel these days that's all I'm doing she Good said I want to go to Africa and I said <laughs> I'm a marvelous traveling companion we did it all we I said she said I don't want to share a room and I said I'm not sure, and I'm not staying in a pup tent. I want to go <laughs> top yeah. drawer, top drawer all oh the way. God. And so it took a year or so. You know, these things take year, forever. Yeah. And her daughter called and she said, you just met Judith, and now you're going to Africa together. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> impressive. So and it worked out Did just fine. Did you have fine. a great time? Okay, good. I had a great time. But I was sitting there, and at the end of a very dusty, bumpy, going around to see the fabulous animals. And we were there for two weeks, so we took, wow. a, we took a long one. Yeah. And I said, I'm not going all that way for, for a seven short time. days. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, but the only thing that really tasted good, other than a big glass of water, was an ice cold beer. Oh, mm. I bet. You know, and was it really hot? It was. It was cooler than here. Oh, wow. maybe in the eighties. Nights could, could Is get it humid down there or at dry? one t camp. They call them camps that was up near the crater, Narung Narungagora crater. Um, they had electric blankets on the bed. Oh my gosh! It was gosh. so cold. I slept in the Terry bathrobe. The, Blanket, the electric blanket, a regular blanket, and a duvet, wow. and a, huh. excuse me, a comforter. Wow. No, 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 it's, no. we got to cut you off when you're drinking. I know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm drinking talking, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> belching here. I hadn't had any bumbles. Anyway, but it was just a magnificent, I and what somebody said, you from your pictures, you look like you were born to be there. Yeah, yeah. And that's me. the way I felt. It was no, there was no trepidation, there was no fear. 
Kathy, my traveling companion, was like, I'm afraid a lion's going to jump on the truck. And I said, I'm opening well. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a great shot. A great shot. Um, was there any scary moments? No, no. not a one. Could not you touch one. any of them? No. No? No, you don't put your hand out. You whisper. You're very My very friend respectful. was there and he touched one, though. He was able to touch a lion. You sure it was? It might have been a different type. Of Maybe, yeah, it might have been a different type. I don't know. Type. Maybe yeah. good for him. Yeah, good for him because um, I a, a couple of times, you know, you have to go to the bathroom. You know? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> so you and they that. will go and make sure that nobody, nothing is around. Oh wow! And they will stand there while you go. How to the long back. were you out in that safari area? We would time? usually get picked up on a day at seven seven thirty. Hit the road. And just be out traveling in different areas, yeah. and we crossed over into Tanzania, and uh, but never a fly. Really. And and the lunches we had out on the Serengeti on the Masai Mara, never plastic, never paper, never anything. Wow. I mean, there is so much conservation. I'm big tree yes. hugging conservation. Yes. yes. In fact, I got some stuff yeah, for the tell girls. Yeah. Tell us about that. Earth breeze, and let me. <laughs> She's got a lot of stuff sitting, on it. I'm sitting under sitting, her butt. She's got a lot of stuff on her butt. I'm sure I can't find it. It's right. And dishwashing. Great product. Actually, I took a couple of the sheets. They're just thin little sheets. Earth Breeze? Earth Breeze. Okay. I get them every so month. So how do you use that? You just throw it into the wash? It's just, just throw them into the wash. Just one sheet. Don't okay. throw them into the wash. For one You load. cut them up. Does Break them up, throw them in the front front oh, loading. It's clean. It's mine, uh, mine it's is clean a scent. top. But mine's a front loader. Yeah, mine's and but if you only have a little bit, and yeah. you just do this. But I took them to just wash my undies. Yeah, even though they had right, fly, right, and um, on safari. Wow. wow, college dorms. Oh yes, camping, and not a bit of wasted water or plastic. So wow. these are for you, ladies. Oh, thank, thank you. you. That's wonderful. <clears throat> but the but the, the they took such care, and at one of the lunch places, there was a huge cage. I mean, literally, like this, ding, 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 ding. and it said plastic bottles only, filled, half filled with plastic water bottles. And I took wow. a picture of it, and it said plastic over, and out, you could see, I, the shot was of the Maasai Mara, and you could see some animals out there. Yeah. I said, I think it's wonderful that the bottles are in cages the animals are roaming free yeah. Yeah. instead of having I love it. having opposite, plastic yeah. thrown. So please, yeah. people. Right. I'm also a big supporter of Four no. Oceans, the two surfer dudes who yeah. went to Bali. Mm -hmm. And so I buy these bracelets. They're right. great. Kids love them. Great stocking stuffers. Just fouroceans.com. And for every bracelet you buy, a pound of plastic is taken out of the so ocean. So four, the number four, the word four doesn't matter. Four. Number four, number okay. four, oceans. Okay. So I'm a bit of a conservationist. Oh, I wonderful. think that's great. That I we was, need more of that. I, we yes, really we do. do. And there are so many people and companies that are shifting, but just little things you can really do. Really make a difference. Yeah. Little things you can do. Oh, I'm just one person. I can't do anything. Sure you can. Yeah. yeah. Sure you can. Well, if everybody was, who says that did it, then it yeah. would. Yeah. It's the ripple it's effect. Huge, it's you know, it's the ripple effect. Bit. I haven't bought a plastic bottle of water. I've got the underwater osmosis right oh, I know. Oh, and, right. yeah for and your whole house right oh no it's not no? just in the kitchen okay and yeah, i live by myself so it's oh, really yeah. not Garrett that much yeah. oh, well. but africa i a would you month ago i was anybody? still no i don't okay okay, okay. within two or three days I, I said to kathy i said this is not for everybody oh it's, it's okay. bumpy it takes yeah. 30 hours to get there the way we went wow. and um, I'm it. sure you can find shorter ways sure. but it, it's it's it is costly but it's just beautiful going to a Maasai village and talking to them and having them jump oh, up I and down saw you. Oh, yes. yeah the video oh, my God. but Ben is who great. is one of the leaders one of the elders of the village um I'm talking to him, and as I was leaving I said you know if this your pro land not property if your land we're in America. It would be covered with golf courses and condos. Right. I said, please never sell your land. And he got very proud and regal, and he said, the Maasai never sell their land. Good. Oh, like, wow. Okay, I don't need to sell yeah. your land. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But it's really cool. Guys, if you got 10 cows, you can get a wife. 
<laughs> if you got ten more cows, you can get a second wife. Oh. But the first wife gets to pick the second wife. Oh my god! And, I mean, it's I mean, it's like a little polygamy. Wow, that's interesting. But wow. Never saw a fly. Got attacked by some tetsy flies one time in Tanzania. Got it. But it's it's Shocks. if you're willing to, they never checked. I got oh. I got meningitis. I got yellow fever. I updated my COVID just for right, and nobody ever asked for anything. Wow! But get them, get them. Get well, yeah, them. you want to protect yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You don't want to have other people. But the people you may go for. The animals, but you fall in love with the people in the land. Oh, that's great. And that's just nice these to hear. vast expanses of just wide open. Oh, and these God. eco resorts that take care of everything. And not wasting. Not say oh, let's just throw it over there. Right. No, no, no. 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 Wow. wow. We that's need to amazing. follow some of that. But no, so no, next I go to up. Antarctica. Oh, really? You are? your next Next one? year? Next Christmas. I must spend Christmas in Antarctica. Nice. And I'm traveling with a couple of friends. Otherwise, I would never go on a ship right. by myself. Sure. Uh, but, yeah, I want to see it while it's still there. Yeah. So I'm going to be in a submarine going below. <gasps> wow. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing Good for you. And I'll, I'll, not on a sad note, but, I mean, I've been wanting to do this trip for a while. And I got a house in Ireland. That's oh, right. Yeah, you, you did tell us about that. Yeah, I finally did, yeah. did it. In March, and right? I've been ta- March. I'm spending St. Patty's Day, Easter, and all of April oh, there. Oh, nice. The house I found. James and I had wanted to do it. And I've been thinking about it and back and forth. And when Jackie Zeman of General Hospital, good friend, wonderful fellow yeah. actor, when she died, my philosophy, do not, do not put your life on hold Great. for anyone or anything. Good Great motto. Advice. And I yep. had found this house, and after, oh, I just got goosebumps, Aww. Jackie. And uh, the minute I heard about Jackie, I said, you're doing it. Yeah, good for you. That's great. You. Oh my God, this is Yay. amazing. I, can't I have no see. children. I have no family. All of my heroes are gone. Yeah. So. How many how many rooms in that house? <laughs> She's inviting herself. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be there. We'll come visit. <laughs> you get yourself there. Yeah. It's literally 15 meters from the ocean. Wow. I'll show you pictures. Wow. Amazing. Oh, I um, love it. Uh, three bedrooms, two baths. Okay. All right. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right, we'll get the address. Oh gosh. Well, gosh, and we so appreciate you being here. But oh, before you go, you for also, for those of you who are in Palm Springs in December, was oh. it the second or oh, the yes. third? What are you doing? December third. I was I was shocked. I was like, me really? <laughs> I have been asked to light the Christmas tree at the top of the train. She's our local celebrity that will do it. Yes. And, uh, nice. Nice. And, and I get to invite some friends. Yes. And they said, you can stay and party at the bar. And I'm like, really? Yeah. You want my gang? Yeah. <laughs> Your crazy friends? <laughs> I said, we can put uh, you. No, yeah, it's, exactly. it's, a, it's a wonderful honor. And I just did Patrick Evans' show. And, oh, okay. and I said, Patrick, I'm doing the. He said, so am I. Oh, so oh. it'll be fun. And you and, just finished Steel Magnolias. And here. I just. She wow. just came back from Africa and jumped into a play out here. Play. Steel Magnolias. Tw- within 24 hours. I had no time for You're jet amazing. lag. Was, uh, yeah. Oh, and Pat Patrick, when I was talking, not to talk about your, another show, but Patrick, I said, yeah, I'm doing this. I said, I had told everybody I'd retired, and he said, obviously, you're not very good at it. <laughs> you're like, keep share. Yeah. Keep, you know, keep, keep saying she's not keeps keeps touring anymore. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep doing it. Oh, good for you. And good for you for doing this. Yeah. Oh, we love it. It's, it's fun. fun. We're having a great yeah. time. We're having a great, great time. We love talking to people, and yes. we love yeah. getting to know people. Of, and of hearing everybody's absolutely. story yes. because everybody's got more everybody's story than what you see yeah, exactly, exactly. You know? we appreciate yeah, that's it. so wonderful. thank you thank you and uh, good luck on the Christmas tree yes. and your adventures good ahead. luck on Young and the Rustlers and we have yes. three questions to ask her right because I oh, want to hear her oh response. you do you want to ask okay. I do I want to okay you want to ask the first one uh, I forget wait the first one <laughs> wait the first one is having if dinner if, right yeah okay. who would you if you could have dinner with anyone. I pretty much know the answer to this. Dead or, Dead or alive. alive. Who would you like to have dinner with? I want to know who you think I'd have dinner with. No, yeah. wait, you say it first. Who, oh, I ask you the question? No, no, no I'm asking you, you. Who oh, would you I, like to have dinner with? If Dead, you or alive, Dead or alive. Um, oh, there's so many. The list is, you should ask these questions before so you can think about it. No, um, <laughs> no it's on the spot. Well, That's I was on the spot, this for the moment. Yeah. I would say, uh, yes, of course, James, James, of course. I'd love to see James. And... Um, 
Anybody who's inspired you, maybe? I don't know. I am named after, my father admitted when I, I think I was in high school or college, and he said, now don't tell your mother, but you were named after, I had a thing for Dame Judith Anderson oh, okay. when you were born. Oh. So I'm named after Dame Judith oh. Anderson. So, so like dinner with her? Why. I would, wouldn't mind yeah. having, she uh, played the, the Wicked Witch, not the Wicked Witch, but in uh, Rebecca. She was on Santa Barbara for a while. She did oh, so much. Oh, she was wow. okay. Anyway, so so right. many. Yeah, I know um, it is hard to choose. Yeah, but I mean, one that came to your mind. I'm, that's what I. Betty think. Davis. Oh, oh, that would be oh, interesting. Oh my oh. gosh, I would love to see you. Wow. Oh, together. Tallulah, oh, darling, I played <laughs> you. I, I, I told you people just very quick, Tallulah very quick. Bankhead. with Tallulah, you know she. Mm, <laughs> she on her. stage, I mean, you know, yeah. you gotta be yeah. behave yeah. when it's time to behave. And, but she would come, go all over the country and do these little theaters and regional theaters. And she would go up to the young entrepreneur. She said, darling, you don't have to do a thing. They're here to see me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, oh my God. That yeah, I know. Yeah, great, great lines. Line. And then there was line. another line. She said, she goes, I'm bisexual. And she says, you bi and I'm sexual. <laughs> That's she a good was one. a kid. She was oh, a kid. So I'd, love, I'd love, I'd love, I'd love to. I, I don't know how you all would the answer this All the damaged mystery. people. I love them. If you do, you have a fear of doing anything, and if so, what is it? And if you know you got rid of that fear, would you do it? Say, for instance, somebody's fear of sharks. Would they swim with sharks? I swim with sharks. I figured you'd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go on a submarine in Antarctica. That's, yeah, I think. I have jumped I out of an airplane. So, uh, so you. So you. Did, but did you have fear to do that? No, I mean, you no, had that fear. No, it's, it's you embrace the fear mm -hmm. and get That's on with it. Else. I think get on with it. But, <laughs> yeah. but one of my great teachers, my acting teachers, never studied anything. We did yoga. We did mm -hmm. gymnastics. Right. But one of his lines, and when I teach and when I coach, um, by overcoming physical obstacles, mm -hmm. we break down emotional barriers. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. That's so a, that's getting yeah. over in Well, you have a lot fear. of great advice for us. She so. does. I this love is good. It. All right. Love it. And the third one? Uh, what was it? <laughs> what else? I'll just, I have a She one. has it, yeah. Uh, okay. If you could have done anything else in your life besides acting, what would it have been? I would have been an archaeologist. Oh, right. Absolutely. Wow. And still, because I went to Greece and Turkey last year and had so much fun just going around digs. Right. So, yeah. Great. I love it. Wow. I love that you're just living life and living life. And doing it took me a long things. time, you know. Uh, Everybody has goes through their times of grief and sorrow, and it's a terrible thing to mm -hmm. experience and right. go through yeah. right. and to subject your friends through, too. But yeah, I made it. You did. I made it. Yeah, and you're and thriving. I am yeah. thriving. Yeah, you're doing a great job. At the and right I age of fifty. At, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> looks like she's very oh, for God. sure. <laughs> no, but I take a little bit of James every place with me, Aww. and I put some of him in Lake Victoria <gasps> oh, I love in that. Africa. That's great. So he will go to Antarctica Aww. with me, and he will go to, well, he's already been to Ireland. He'll go yeah. to Northern Ireland, Aww. where my house is. That's great. Oh, great. Well, that. cheers to you. Cheers, cheers to you, with our James. Renee Medor, RM Design. Straws. Those are yours? Yes. yes. Eco-friendly. Do I get Recycle. to keep it? No. <laughs> They're Melissa's. She can, you, you can do have it. it. Mm-hmm. But yes, you can yes. find these on RM Designs. You yes. are getting to be too so fabulous. Doing... Artist extraordinaire. Uh, you just it's fun. I love broadening it. and now you're in the film industry and you're doing all this stuff and Yeah, you gotta gotta do yeah, what you, you just gotta, gotta keep, keep doing. you know you gotta keep that Look passion you, alive. You it's just, fun. Yeah, yeah. You know, it is you can, fun. You gotta you can't sit around and wait for the phone to ring. No, exactly. Absolutely. And no. do what you Nobody's love. That makes a big difference. Right? Right? Love what you do, doing do what you, what you love. love. Do what you love. You'll and it becomes fun. It becomes fun. Well thank you again. Thank you, honey. And thank you for being with us on Pop City. Have a great day!